So today we've come up to the Rhinebeck Aerodrome and uh, we're going to introduce Jenny the Stamp to Jenny the Plane. This is an original JN4 training plane. It's got the two seats, hasn't been converted into a male plane where they sealed up that front seat and uh, turned it into a compartment. It would hold the bags of mail, maybe a few hundred pounds. And uh, uh, that's what they would use to fly the mail between the cities on the first mail route. So in 1918, it's the middle of World War I. The United States has entered the war and the post office to launch this new airmail service relied on the military for its pilots. Uh, they figured the pilots would get training flying, which was good for them and good for the military, and uh, the post office would have reliable pilots to fly the mail between the cities. So the airmail route was about 225 miles of uh, flying distance from New York down to Washington, D.C. with a stop in Philadelphia. And they flew about maybe 75 miles an hour. And you can imagine when they landed at the relay point, uh, they would unload the mail bags from the front compartment, put them onto another plane, and then that pilot in the plane would take off and uh, head to the next city. And they did this between New York, Philadelphia, and Washington, D.C and it took about three hours to complete the flight. So once the mail arrived from its flight, it was delivered by special delivery. So it would be brought from the airfield to the post office and then they would send out the letter by a bike messenger or a motorcycle, special delivery messenger. And for 24 cents, you got special delivery service included. So when you look inside the cockpit of this plane, there's no soft edges, I mean, it's hard to imagine what happened to these pilots when they crashed the plane. And of course, on that first flight on May 15, 1918, that left Washington, D.C., George Boyle, who really wasn't a very good pilot, uh, took off and in front of the president, the first lady, and hundreds of spectators, uh, flew his plane south instead of north. And he ended up ditching it in a field in Waldorf, Maryland. Uh, these planes were susceptible to uh, wingtip and flipping over. And he, he did it right in the, in the field and broke the propeller and all the mail had to be driven by car back to Washington, D.C. and it was flown out the next day. So another mishap on the inaugural day was the plane wouldn't start. You know, they pulled the propeller, nothing. They tried again, nothing. And over and over and uh, it must have been embarrassing in front of hundreds of people and the president uh, and they, check, they checked the fuel gauge. It said there was gas in the tank. Uh, they looked at everything, spark plugs, and they couldn't figure out why it wouldn't start. And then somebody had the idea that when the plane uh, was in midair, the fuel gauge would read correctly, but when it was on the ground, tilted backwards, uh, the gauge gave a misreading. It said there was gas in the tank when there wasn't. So they got some gas out of a couple of other planes in the field. They uh, filled up the tank started up the engine and off it went. So coming up to Rhinebeck Aerodrome and seeing an actual Jenny, um, I mean, I love the stamp, but I really love the plane. Uh, it kills me that I can't get in this and fly it. Um, you can't even go as a passenger, but I have flown up next to it and uh, taken pictures of, of the Jenny in flight. And it's just so amazing. I mean, it really is uh, a remarkable piece of technology even today, uh, and back in 1918, you know, it was cutting edge. The old Rhinebeck Aerodrome is where living history is the, at its prime. Um, started in 1958 by Cole Palin, we fly air shows every weekend from the middle of June to the middle of October. But beyond that, our mission is education and trying to bring um, not just living history, but vintage aviation to people so that they can experience, see it, hear it, smell it in a way that they can't in a static museum. Um, the Jenny that's behind me flies every Saturday and Sunday in our air shows. It is original, um, which is pretty amazing as much of what we fly is a replica, but this is an original bird that you can come see fly in our air shows both Saturday and Sunday, again from mid-June to mid-October. Jenny the plane is not for sale. 
unfortunately, but the Inverted Jenny will be up for auction on November 8th at Siegel Auction Galleries. You can see the catalog and read all about the stamp at SiegelAuctions.com.